Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here with Vertigan Group's Tom Moss. Tom, we've known each other for a long, long time and you said to me, Executive Hire Show, we're on the Innovation Trail, Peter. This is a machine you need to see. What is it actually get for? And it's one of the smallest we're likely to see in this class, isn't it? You're quite right, Peter, and it's good to see you again. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the new Vogel Mini 500 Trap Paver, one of four in the range. Um, this is its first UK premiere, so right. it, was, it, was, it was starred at Bauma 2022, so a little while ago. Since its launch, it's been really, really successful in Europe, and this is now it's time to shine in the UK. So this is its first show preview. Um, there's a few out there working already. Yep. Um, it's trapped, it's compact, it really does suit the tool and hire market. Uh, it is a paver and it's, it's, it's really, really light. It's our smallest in the range. So we're going down from our Super 800 at six and a half ton yep. to now one and a half ton. So, so yeah, so what's really interesting about this, Tom, we were talking earlier, folks, is that we've got a big problem in the UK at the moment, right? So yep. first of all, skills, yep. that we can't get the people into the industry. So second of all, we need to be safer. And when we're yep. handling um, all of the asphalt and the paving uh, products that need to go into our into our industry as yep, such. Yep, yep. And then if you live where I live, we've got a serious pothole problem as well. So is it going to help any of those points, Tom, this product? You're quite right. You're <laughs> quite right. So skill shortage is a massive thing. Yep. Uh, so traditionally, a lot of hand-laid time I can get done. Yep. Local authorities, private driveways, you name it, it's been done. This takes away the risk of bad backs, the skill shortage. Yes, you still need the skills to be able to operate the machine. But in terms of reduced fatigue, health and safety, less bad backs, and productivity, this does it. 20 tons per hour laydown rate. Right. So you've got the productivity there. It'll lay to a depth of 10 centimeters, and so maximum width of 1.8 meters. So really, really does tick a lot of boxes. So for surfacing, for whether it's a local authority, utilities, trench, fleeing trenches in for fiber optics, uh, private driveways, it's got a place massively in the market. And I think what's really interesting about that, folks, is we see somebody digging up the freshly laid roads to put in the latest infrastructure, and then we see the way in which that sort of sinks down over time if it's done in a more traditional method. But you know, the capacity of this and the nature of this allows you to get a better quality, doesn't it? Yeah, and that's it. It's all to, all to do with the process, and it's doing it right, and it's using the right tools for the right job. So together with the, 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 the milling machines that start the process, to so the paving, to so the compaction, and, and ultimately we've got every product in that portfolio to do the job. Yeah. So we are that one-stop shop and you can come and you can got the paver now, the smallest, and it can go in the back of a trailer behind the truck. So it's uh, really, really easy to tow away. So folks, a couple of other points for me, which really exciting. This is the diesel version that's come in, but Tom has let me know that they've got an electric coming through as well. Do you like a bit of electric, Tom? You've also got an electric ham roller, so you could electrify the process as well, couldn't you? This You're is right. also important. Yeah, 100%. So um, last year you saw the ham HD12 electric, yeah, so that's yeah. uh, that was launched and it's been a popular uh, product again through Europe, especially these low emission zones where there is that need to be zero, zero carbon and uh, reduce it massively. So later this year, there will be an electric version of this. Um, so the drive will be fully electric. It'll give you 16 hours one time. So in terms of drive, because you know yourself, the duty cycle, yep. idle time is a big part of that. So when it's just sat there not driving, it's not burning any fuel and it's not blowing any emissions. So yep. another great feature. So when we're talking about things like idling and stuff like that, you also mentioned some of the processes involved in the actual laying down. We've got a space here, Tom, uh, where you'd pop a gas bottle that, that keeps part of that process ticking over. Tell me, explain yeah. how that works. Yeah. So. It's kind of a step back in a way. So we're going to, to, to gas heated screed in this system, primarily just for packaging. And you need a, a large generator to power the electric screed on, on the larger pavers. Now, how is that for weight, space, and, and that whole setup? It, it just isn't feasible here. So we've gone back to gas for the heating of the screed, and that's the same for the electric paver. So it's, it's really is dual fuel. And yep. that way it is a bit more efficient. And that's why we do get the runtime and the performance we'll get. And I think that's really important when you're looking at you know, packaging everything, and particularly with a battery system. Um, and the, you know, the, the great thing we've got here is, I mean, look, I'm going to stand on it, folks. Probably go out of shot now. You know, I've got great visibility up here, folks. You won't be able to see me. All of the control systems are are here, ready for me. And you've got that that fine tuning as such with the machine, hasn't it? Simple to operate, but it's a complex process, isn't it? Yeah. Doing something like this. Yeah, it's just nimble. It's really well put together. It's compact. It ticks all those boxes in terms of visibility, being seen around the site. 
and ultimately being a, a, just a safe workhorse for the future. Well, Tom, it's been a while, but great to talk to you again and great to see yet again more innovations on the innovation trail here, taking the labour out of the process, but also keeping people safer on site and having the options to go diesel and electric, but with a real compact machine that can do the job and keep people safe on site. Thank you very much, Tom. Thanks, Peter.